& Whitney and 7Q7 are pleased to offer a commercially certified total power plant system for the Boeing 707-300 aircraft. Among the over 300 candidates for this re-engineing solution are the B707-300 aircraft in service with the U.S. Air Force and NATO, as well as commercial operators such as Omega Air. On August 9, 2001, the Omega Air Boeing 707RE completed its picture-perfect maiden flight, powered for the first time by four brand new JT-8D-219 engines. The Boeing 707 flew flawlessly from San Antonio International Airport to Roswell, New Mexico. After a brief scheduled stop in Roswell, the re-engined legend of the commercial aircraft industry roared into the sky again and completed its return home to the 7Q7 facility in San Antonio. Des McAvee, president and COO of 7Q7, was also the co-pilot on the flight. Fantastic, very elated. It's, we've been waiting for it for a long time. We had a, a few delays, but it's just fantastic. The, the last time we flew the single engine demonstrator, we said that the aircraft performed flawlessly. Well, this time is flawlessly too small a word. In fact, I need a bigger word than flawlessly. The performance today was mind-boggling. Mind we, we were up there at 30,000 feet, and that thing was going up like a rocket. And, you know, were it not that we had restrictions and the airframe had restrictions, it seemed to want to go on forever. James Lunsford, a former Army and Navy aviator, was at the helm for this event. We uh, took the airplane from San Antonio to Roswell, New Mexico. First flight with all four JT-8s on the 707. History-making flight. She flew beautifully, uh, handled uh, very well. Characteristics were great. Unlimited power. It was incredible. It was flying like flying on the tip of a rocket. It was beautiful. We really enjoyed the plane, and she behaved marvelously. The heart of the B-707's propulsion system is the Pratt & Whitney JT-8D-219 engine, the absolute best value in terms of cost, schedule, and performance. Mike Lombard is Pratt's program manager for surveillance and tanker aircraft. This is a significant milestone to show basically the militaries of the world and uh, of the countries that the 707 8D powered engine, commercial off the shelf product is ready to go. The engine basically is the most economical solution to our customers. It's low cost, lowest maintenance for its thrust class. Uh, there's no upfront cost because there's no aircraft modifications to the aircraft. Uh, it's commercial off the shelf, no development cost. It's extremely economical for our customers. One of the improvements that we offer is a reduction in noise, reduction in admissions. We have a low IR signature. There's no radar interference at all. We are economical. Everything is already FAA certified, except for the small military qualifications that we need. You just take it out of the box, and bolt it right onto the airplane. These uh, JT-8D-219s perform flawlessly. Uh, in fact, the uh, pilots uh, stated they had more uh, bleed air from two engines than they could get out of four engines for cabin pressurization. The, the engine is a near perfect fit for this uh, aircraft. The weight, the center of gravity doesn't change any, no wing modifications, no, no aircraft modifications, uh, cockpit gauges are uh, essentially the same. The engine will just plug on in place of the 3Ds uh, and uh, work work just perfectly with this, uh, with this aircraft. Key operational improvements with the JT-8D-219 when compared with the current power plant include a greater than 15% fuel burn improvement, emissions well below the FAR-34 and ICAO Annex 16 Volume 2 Chapter 2 levels, development of the E-Kit combustor which has made Swiss Class 5 landings possible, noise level better than 9 decibels below FAR Part 36 Stage 3 and IACO Annex 16 Chapter 3 limits with potential for further improvements, and reduction in takeoff critical field length between 500 and 1200 feet depending upon conditions. For military customers, there is a 35% lower IR signature and no radar interference plus a significant increase in time on station and fuel offload improvements. 
FAA Supplemental Type Certification of a JT-8D-219 engine and the Boeing 707-300 series aircraft at 21,000 pounds of thrust is currently underway and is expected to be completed by the end of the second quarter 2002. Ed Swearingen, owner of Swearingen Aircraft and technical consultant for SQS, was responsible for the design work on the B707RE. Well, you know, I think that uh, we all had a great appreciation for the 707 airplane. It was uh, certainly an early jet, but it's basically a very modern airplane in many ways, except the propulsion system was very dated. And so we had the opportunity of taking everything off of the wing and starting over. And uh, now we have a modern propulsion system that greatly enhances the performance and the efficiency and range and altitude capability of the airplane and will extend its life for many, many years because we have an engine on there now in a complete nacelle that, that's experienced and has shown itself to be one of the longest life, uh, most uh, reliable components of the airplane that it's been on. This is truly a great day for the team. It's been a lot of hard work, team effort, and to see the fruits here today of a successful flight, go to Roswell, New Mexico, and come back without any major problems. Um, as you heard, the report from the crew where the flight went fantastic and it was a great day, great successful day. 7Q7 is a U.S. corporation whose principal shareholders are Omega Air and Swear Engine Aircraft and is in contracted cooperation with Goodrich Aerospace Aerostructures Group and the Nordum Group. Goodrich produced the inlet, thrust reverser, EBU and strut systems for the program. The Nordum Group market leader in sales and production of Stage 3 hush kits for Boeing 737-200 aircraft, was responsible for the design and fabrication of the strut. Rick Smith, Manufacturing Director for Nordham's Aerostructures out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are principal subcontractors to 7Q7 for the strut assemblies and the cow doors for this project. Uh, we have uh, designed these uh, uh, strut assemblies and cow doors to make current FAA requirements for uh, ventilation, for uh, fire safeness, for uh, the various uh, current attributes that perhaps the aircraft didn't possess when it was originally designed, but uh, are required for the re-engine program today. The PNW SQS team is currently preparing its response to Northrop Grumman the prime contractor for the U.S. Air Force Joint STARS re-engineering program. In addition, the PNW SQS solution has been presented to NATO through the team's prime contractor, Eads Dornier, the European Aeronautics Defense and Space Company. Arno Scheck, Vice President Programs for Eads Dornier. I think the team did a very good job and this is quite an important milestone, an important day today in the history of 7Q7 and the uh, Pratt & Whitney uh, cooperation. We will take part in this joint effort to ensure that the E3A AVEX will continue to be a viable and invaluable surveillance asset for the Alliance uh, for the years to come. The Pratt & Whitney 7Q7 joint venture offer fully complies with or surpasses all of the requirements for re-engineering both the NATO E3A TCA fleet and the U.S. Air Force Joint STARS aircraft. The propulsion system, which includes the proven JT-8D-219 engine, nacelle and strut, can be installed with no major aircraft modifications. There is also a thrust reverser option. The JT-8D-219 offers the B707-300 fleet the best value combination of cost, schedule, and performance. A proud heritage! A proud future!